Welcome to Canada and the city of Hamilton, situated in the province of Ontario. We are a city of about 350,000 people, located at the western end of Lake Ontario, not far from the metropolis of Toronto, and a short distance from the world-famous Niagara Falls. Hamilton is an industrial center, a steel town, that is proud of its buildings, its green spaces, and its diversity of people. Welcome as well to an education system that maintains 96 schools to serve the developmental needs of over 40,000 students. Welcome especially to Sir Winston Churchill Secondary School in the east end of Hamilton. The school is named in honor of Churchill, the great British statesman, whose inspirational words towards their finest hour have become the school's motto. Let's take a look around the school. It is an atmosphere where both preparing for a high technology future and working cooperatively together are important, as we see first in one of the school's computer labs. We see this again in a geography classroom. Gaining a first-hand knowledge of science and technology, too, is stressed in a chemistry lab. and in an auto shop. Which one of the three emissions was the exhaust gas circulation system dealing with? In the arts as well, students work together in producing ensemble music. In keyboard instruction, they work individually. Drama is in the curriculum because it develops talent and interest and helps expand self-knowledge. In a library well stocked with books and periodicals, Students learn to use modern research tools to find the material they need. An integral part of both the school and the surrounding community is a recreational center with a pool and a gymnasium. The school is not residential. Many students, however, stay for the noonday meal and make use of the cafeteria service provided. The nerve center of the school is the main office, serving both staff and students. Architecturally, the building is centered around a courtyard. At its center is the statue of a bulldog, the school's chosen mascot, a creature of determination. 
This is the center of the school building, but the real school is made up of people, a diversity of people, of many races and backgrounds, seeking a variety of goals and developing in many individual ways. In student government. Hey, a financial statement, a balance of over 15,000. That's our balance, 15,000. Anybody have any questions? Tomorrow's boost spirit for that whole thing was to have an assembly. In sports. In leadership. The school is a part of the community and provides for the community. Some parents bring their very young children to a child daycare center set up within Churchill School. This allows the parents the chance to work during the day or pursue further schooling. It allows the children a chance for social interaction. It is part of the philosophy of the school system to avoid segregating teenagers according to their abilities. It is better to have all students in everyday contact with other students from the area. For this reason, Churchill has facilities and an educational program for students with special needs and an active peer helper program. Hey. Where are you up to I don't do it. We should visit our English class sometime, Aaron. The community also plays an important part in the school's cooperative education option. Many students, both teenage and adult, choose to explore a future career possibility by working for half a year in a job placement in that particular field. They spend a half day at school and a half day on the job. This is the justification on the right hand side. Okay, and double check the Over the span of four to five years in Churchill, most students acquire the 30 or more credits needed for graduation. They are then ready to move out into the community, to the workforce, or to institutes of further education. The occasion is marked by a graduation ceremony held in the month of June. Across the city, other schools likewise reflect their communities and stand as centers for various activities. They likewise prepare students and send them out upon graduation to play a useful role in the Canadian society.